St. Louis limped into the postseason. San Diego division champs with both teams. Tuesday, 0-0. Zero and zero. Though the pods, six straight postseason losses to the Cards. Three of those in the NLDS a year ago. Top first, scoreless, two out. Albert Pujols, three outs. Jake Peavy gets him looking. Started out strong. Bottom of the first, there's a man on for Brian Giles, and it's time to play Name Your Molina. This Molina started a 2-6-3 double play, went one for four at the plate. Steve? The correct answer is Yadier. Yadier. Chris Carpenter, strong all day. Third inning gets Jeff Blum. Josh Barfield. No. And then PV. Well, pitchers, that, uh, you know, that's an easy one. Top four, still scoreless. One on for pool holes. Eight pitch at bat. 3-2. Goodbye. Lean muscular Albert. Big. 11th postseason homer of his career. That ties Bart's postseason record. 2-0 in favor of the Redbirds. And that seemed to raise all the boats there. Bottom of the fourth. Carpenter with two on. Gets Gonzalez check swing. Russell Branion then strikes out after a Mike Piazza fielder's choice. In the fifth, Jimmy Edmonds with two on. Singles past the diving bar field. Eckstein hustles home. Cards leading 4-0. We're going to go to the seventh. Carpenter out, giving up a run in six and a third. Tyler Johnson replaces him. we got two on, the one out. First guy sees Josh Bard. And plunko, that loads the bases. Got to be in your game now. Johnson was. Mark Bellhorn, no. Filthy stuff. Carpenter likes it. Then Todd Walker. That's a base hit until Ronnie Belliard gets over there. Snuffs out the rally. A terrific stop. A great throw. And the Cards are out of the jam. And they are on their way. The pods go quietly after that. And the Cardinals win it 5-1. Lead the series 1-0. George Smith reports on the Redbirds opening win. Albert. Padre starter Jake Peavy said Albert Pujols was the one guy you can't let beat you. Pujols had a 500 career average against him. On Tuesday, the Cardinal slugger won the battle once again with a two-run shot that set the tone for the game. Obviously, it was a game-changing, you know, uh, play there, and you know, still I got to make a better pitch than I did 3-2, but um, can't give Albert second chances, and, and he's going to hurt you. 3-2. I mean, uh, I know he was going to go to his best pitch, which is the slider, and uh, I know that the um, the runner from first was uh, was going. I just tried to put the ball in play. That ignited the whole club, and so it was it was fun to uh, it's fun to have him as a teammate. David Eckstein said the Cardinals feed off of pool holes, and the home run got the team's confidence going in the right direction. In San Diego, George Smith, ESPN. And when Carpenter's right, he lifts the team as well. And for the second straight year in the Divisional Series, Carpenter shuts down the Padre offense, puts San Diego in a one-zip hole. Last year, six scoreless. This year, he allowed a run, but did kick up his strikeout total a notch. Most importantly, he gets the W. Officially a must-win game for the Padres, but a must-win game for the Padres. David Wells trying to slow down the cards and the bat speed of Albert Pujols. Lee Smith would throw out the first pitch to Trevor Hoffman. Remember earlier this season, Hoffman passed Smith number one on the all-time saves list. A nice moment. Top of the second, runner on second, two down, Ronnie Belliard. Base hit through the hole. Dave Roberts comes up firing. Guns down one, Encarnacion at the plate. Josh Bard somehow hangs on to that ball at the plate. To the fourth, runner on second for Albert Pujols. This guy's dangerous in case you haven't heard. Pujols singles to left. Dave Roberts comes up firing, but this throw is cut off as Preston Wilson scores. Pujols caught in a rundown. But watch this. The Padres even blow the rundown. Nobody covering seconds. Pujols is safe, and the Cards have a 1 0 lead. To the later in the fourth now, two down. Pujols now on third, and Jim Edmonds up the middle. Diving stop by Todd Walker, showing some range, but he can't make the throw. 2 0 St. Louis. Still can't get out of the fourth. Neither can David Wells. Belliard fly to left. Roberts coming on. Makes the diving grab. Check it again. How about Dave Roberts? Does more than just steal the occasional critical bag in postseason play. 2 nothing cards, bottom five, two on, two out. It's that Roberts fella again. This time, Jeff Weaver gets him. How about Jeff Weaver? First time all season he started a game, didn't allow a run. Five shutout innings for him. Brian Giles with the shadows creeping in. Tyler Johnson strikes him out. Bottom nine, still two nothing cards. No Jason Isringhausen. So say hi to Adam Wainwright. It's Mike Cameron. Next batter, 
Padres down to their final out. Cards bullpen has been terrific so far in this series. Russell Brand and looking. Padres have lost nine straight playoff games. George Smith now on how the Cards are in control. Jeff Weaver bought a 3-10 record with him when he was traded from the Angels to the Cardinals in July. But despite the fact that he won three critical games in September, the Padres seemed confident they could get to him. Everyone felt good about Jeff going up there. You know, a lot of guys were licking them chops. And obviously, you know, he, he stopped that real quick. Since he's gone over, he's been one of our um, clutch starters, especially down the stretch. Um, we needed a big win last week, and he came up big for us, and he came up big again for us today. Weaver gave up just two hits in five innings, and the Cardinals' bullpen, which struggled in September, did the rest. We talked about all that stuff in the bullpen about how, you know, the bullpen maybe had some struggles and stuff, but you know what bullpen doesn't, you know, it, it, we're, we're people too and it just, it starts off that way, but you know, we, we come down to crunch time, we, we get it done and I'm proud of everyone. The Cardinals bullpen closed the regular season with a three and seven record and two blown saves, but after two games in this series, the relievers have given up just three hits and no runs in six and two thirds innings. In San Diego, George Smith, ESPN. All right, George, while well, the Padres are hitting 164 in the series, 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. Turn home to try to sweep San Diego. Found by the Germans. Jeff Supon hoping to pitch the Cardinals to a three-game sweep. And look at Russell Brannion supplying postseason clutchness. Down the line, Padres lead 2-0. Their first hit with a runner in scoring position in the entire series. Bottom four, Padres have a nice 3-0 lead for Chris Young. That's a nice yacker against Albert Pujols, who went 0 for 4. Jim Edmonds batting cleanup, can't take the heat. Scott Rowland, high cheddar. Young strikes out the side in the fourth. Bottom six, Pujols up with two on. Big spot, big spot with one out. 2-2 two -two pitch, he goes after the high provolone. Cardinals three through six hitters, 0 for 15. And Cardinacion was the sixth batter. Here's Jim Edmonds, Edmonds and we know the result of this. It's an out. Dave Roberts, the nice catch. Chris Young, six and two thirds, four hits, no runs, nine Ks. Embry pitched the third. Then Linebrink comes in, bottom eight, gets pool holes again. Five, four, three. Albert was the tying run at that juncture. Bottom nine, Trevor Hoffman. Fourth career postseason save. There's Encarnacion. Padres win despite stranding 14 runners in the game. One the Cardinals game three loss to the Padres. Scott Rowland spent some quality time in manager Tony La Russa's office. Sunday in game four, Rowland and La Russa spent even more time together in the dugout. Rowland out of the lineup after complaining about a sore shoulder. Finally fessing up, maybe more like it. Five-time gold glove third baseman had maintained he was, quote, fine as he struggled through a one for 11 start to the NLDS. La Russa's response to the injury admission, it's not the smartest way to go about it. You want to have your players be straightforward about how they feel. So Roland sitting, Scott Spezio starting behind game one winner Chris Carpenter, who got himself in the soup in the first. Base is loaded, ball four to Russell Brannion. First base is loaded, walk by Carpenter since 2001. It's one nothing. They make it two nothing. Base is loaded still. Josh Barfield, though, that's a force out. 6-4 inning over. Pods nice early lead, though, for Woody Williams, the former Cardinal. Cards in the home half of the first. They load him up as well. And with two out, Ronnie Belliard breaks his bat. But gets two in. Preston Wilson, Jimmy Edmonds, first two RBIs of his postseason career. Talking Belliard, who then apparently just fell over and got tagged out. We're tied at two, even up, though, with eight innings to play in the sixth. Carpenter settles in. This time, Russell Brennan called out. And then Mike Cameron goes down swinging. Carpenter, seven innings pitch, two earned, five K, solid outing for him. Bottom of the six, still tied at two, one on for Juan and Carnacion. That's down to right field. Albert Pujols chugging home from first. Cards have the lead in the ball game, 3-2. Redbirds just getting started in this frame. Two batters later, there's Spezio. Matches Rollins' hit total. There's one, and Carnacion scores. 4-2 cards. And in the dugout, Roland Larusa, very joyful over this. Later in the inning, it's 5-2 bases loaded. David Eckstein, all the squeeze, drops down. Spezio coming and scores four in the sixth of the Cardinals. They lead 6-2. Now can they get it home? Top nine, two out, Adam Wainwright facing Dave Roberts. Don't get Dave Roberts on base. You saw he ruined series. Just ask the Yankees. Pujols will handle that one. Cards win at 6-2, advance to the NLCS for the third straight season. George Smith on the cards, finish Carpenter. Chris Carpenter is no stranger to postseason success, so even when he struggled in the first inning, the Cardinals were confident he'd get the job done. 
He's trying to make every pitch like the best pitch he's ever made in his career. And then after that, he just kind of settled down and started making quality pitches. And, you know, that's him. Once he does that, he's one of the nastiest guys in the league. Wasn't attacking the strike zone, wasn't getting strike one, um, trying to make perfect pitches on the corners. And, you know, that's not my game. After the first inning, Carpenter gave up five more hits, but no runs, and he remains undefeated in his postseason career. The second inning, uh, I just regrouped and went out and, you know, started attacking the strike zone. I was going to be aggressive and make them swing the bats, and, and um, you know, it worked out all night. Carp stepped up for us. We really didn't do much against Woody till later in the game, but he gave us that opportunity to just keep trying to pick away, pick away, and finally we came through within the six. It was unbelievable. That's... <laughs> That'll show you right there what a great pitcher can do, you know. He's as good as anybody pitching in either league right now. I mean, and there's some really great pitchers, Chris Carpenter, in that, in that category. After losing Game 3, the Cardinals made a decision as a team not to pack for a potential Game 5 in San Diego. Preston Wilson said, we didn't want that distraction. Well, the Cardinals did have to pack, but it was for a trip to New York instead.